Hey YouTubers, Muskrat Jim here. Well, I haven't made any videos in about a month or so. Um, I did something to my back and uh, can't walk very far without, you know, getting some twinges back there. So uh, I guess it's tool sharpening season. Actually, I once heard that winter was called tool making season or tool sharpening season by the natives of this area. Now, I don't know for sure if that's true, but it seems logical because in the winter when the snow is deep and hunting is a little bit more difficult, they would have the time to make their tools and sharpen their tools, that sort of thing, at this time of year. So these are my sharpening tools. I have this to sharpen my knives. Um, it's not a Lansky. It's about half the price of a Lansky, and um, I'll probably be upgrading it to a Lansky, to, to, to be honest with you. But anyway, it has uh, four stones. This is the coarse, 120 grit. Then over here, I've got some other stones. This one is 320, 600, and 1500. A homemade strop, strop and compound. And some honing oil and of course here I've got a Lansky puck and this little vise to hold the hatchet in. It's not a big setup but it helps me keep my tools sharp because a dull tool is a dangerous tool because dull tools require more force then that's when you're going to slip and cut yourself. I don't normally bring a, an axe or a hatchet with me because uh, it takes more energy to process wood with an axe. Um, if I had really large timbers that I had to split, then of course, you know, I'd have to uh, consider using an axe. But a lot of the stuff around here is really quite thin. Like it's thinner than, say, thinner than your wrist. So it really doesn't need a whole lot of splitting to get to the dry stuff on the inside. But a lot of the stuff that I burn is typically, you know, really small, um, small branches. About the thickness of your thumb or a little bit thicker. I typically use a saw to process any firewood. And most of my uh, campfires are inside a camp stove. So I really don't need really big logs. So I don't do a whole lot of splitting. I do more cutting. I saw a video once. Oh, it's probably eight years ago now, maybe even longer than that. And it was called How to Split Wood with a Saw. And I thought that was kind of interesting. So, um, what I'll do is I'll, I'm going to try to find that video and link it here. Um, I can't even remember the name of the fellow that actually produced it. But anyway, the idea is you cut the wood halfway through and then you whack it against a tree or a rock or something which causes that, that saw curve to widen up and what it does is it actually breaks a piece of wood off the length of the log. So it's a really neat trick. Um, another thing you can do is once it's sawn like halfway through, you can put it in between two really closely spaced trees and then you can just pull on it to open up the saw curve and it'll split the wood along its length. Well, that's sharper than it was. Now just put some 3-in-1 oil on there just to keep the edge from rusting.
wipe off the excess. And we're good to go. So thanks for joining me today for this short little video here in my workshop. I hope to get out again soon. Until then, wish you all the best. Uh, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. This is Muskrat Jim, signing out. For more Muskrat Survival videos, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And remember to click the bell to receive notifications of newly uploaded videos on this channel.